Hello guys, a warm welcome to computer class. Here we go with the lesson number 14, Microsoft Windows 7. Now, let us begin the lesson with an introduction. What do you think would have happened if you did not have a principal in your school? Would it function properly? No. Similarly, a computer must have an operating system so that it operates smoothly. Just like the principal of a school who sets up rules and regulations for proper functioning of a school. Same way an operating system contains instructions for computer to run smoothly. I hope you have got some ideas about operating system. Now let's learn what is operating system. A set of instructions that runs a computer is called an operating system. It is the most important software in a computer. It helps the hardware and software to interact with each other. For example, it helps the computer to identify the keys that you type on the keyboard and then displays them on the screen. A computer without an OS means operating system is of no use. Windows, Mac OS, Linux, etc. are some of the most popular operating systems. Now, let us learn about graphical user interface. A graphical user interface, GUI, is a graphics based operating system. This program displays windows, icons, menus, buttons, and pointers on the screen. The user gives commands by selecting and clicking on icons displayed on screen. I hope you have understood the topic. Now let us learn once again Windows 7 and operating system in detail. Windows 7 and operating system is the most commonly used operating system. It is developed by Microsoft even it is a graphical user interface OS that makes the interaction between user and the computer easy. It manages the overall functioning of the computer like managing input and output devices, connecting to the internet, etc. Okay, now after this we will learn about basic operations of Windows 7. Here you can see the image of Windows desktop. When we switch on a computer, Windows starts automatically. The first screen that appears is called desktop. Now let's study the various components of desktop. On the screen, there are some components are highlighted in red font. Desktop icons, desktop, desktop gadget, taskbar, program buttons, start button and notification area. The background picture on the desktop is called the desktop background or the wallpaper. The small pictures on the desktop are called icons. Desktop icons represent different programs, files or folders. These icons can be opened by double clicking the particular icon. Now we'll see some icons seen on a desktop screen. Here you can see my computer and recycle bin. If you click on the computer icon, then you can access hard disk drives, storage devices and other external hardware. Recycle bin. When you delete a file, it is moved to the recycle bin. Click on the icon to view all the deleted files and folders from the computer. Now, Let's learn about taskbar. The long bar present at the bottom of the desktop is called the taskbar. When you open a program or file, the program icon appears on the taskbar. You can switch between different programs by clicking on the icons on the taskbar. Here you can see start button. The start button is located at the bottom left corner of the taskbar. Clicking on this button 
displays a list of programs called the start menu we can use the shutdown button on the start menu to shut down the computer notification area the notification area has different icons it displays icons for settings such as volume control and network connection system clock the system clock displays the current date and time desktop button click on the show desktop button to minimize or hide all open windows and display the desktop i hope you have understood the topic in this video you have got some more ideas about windows 7 and operating system thank you for watching